Champions here with the sport. What an exciting weekend in League One, eh? Who needs the Premier League, eh, Nick? <laughs> yes, remember the name, Ethan Ebanks Landell. He's on top of the world after scoring on his debut, and Wolves are on top of the league after beating Notts County. Now, every year, Wolves spend two and a half million pounds on developing young players at the club's academy. And it's proving to be, well, a pretty wise investment, as Ian Winter reports. Farewell to St Edmunds School in Wolverhampton. Today, the old building was being raised to the ground. By next summer, this will be the new home of Wolves' £6 million football academy. In recent years, the club has produced a fine crop of homegrown talent who've gone on to play at the highest level. Now, the name of Ethan Ebanks Landell can be added to the list of academy scholars who graduated to the first team. And what a debut it was. With only 40 minutes left, the young defender popped up with the match-winning goal to earn Wolves three priceless points at Notts County. He looked absolutely delighted, didn't he? He, he did, yeah, and you know he's, he's come through the ranks here, as, as of many of the lads who've got a chance this year, so I'm sure it will mean a lot to him. He's a very, very good character, he's a calm character, and a very, very professional lad, so I think he's got a good future ahead of him. 160 youngsters from the age of 9 to 18 are chosen for the Wolves Academy, and it's Kevin Thelwell's job to make sure the club gets good value from its annual investment of £2.5 million. It's never been a better time to be a young Wolves player and that's because you know if you are going to be able to succeed in the game you have to be given an opportunity and for us to be able to do that this season is a, is a real step forward for us. Next month Ethan celebrates his 21st birthday but nothing will beat the thrill of scoring the match winning goal on his league debut to put Wolves on top of the table. Ian Winter, BBC Midlands today, Wolverhampton. So good to see Wolves on top isn't it but what mm. about Coventry, they had a bit of